For the past 4 years I've been collecting watches. I had watches before but I never considered myself a collector until I realized that my watch box was overflowing. That's when I bought a new watch box and truly began a watch collection. I started with affordable brands like Casio and Seiko. I experimented with different styles from divers to dress watches, but for the past 2 years field watches have captured my attention. I've always wanted a true military field watch, a mail spec watch that had a small case, slim profile, easy to maintain, preferably mechanical, but accurate at the same time, in good condition, with some history behind it, without the risk of radiation from the tritium loom, and the list could continue. I became that arrogant watch collector that wanted something I should say impossible. And it surely was impossible to find a watch like this. I realized that such watch maybe, but maybe exists, but not for my budget for sure. So I keep searching for it until I found a mil-spec watch that takes most of the boxes at an affordable price. Ardney RA03. Ardney is a relatively young brand on the watch market. I don't know much about the brand, but from my Google research, they appeared on market in 2019 and they manufacture watches in China. They even sell their watches on AliExpress with a dedicated shop just like the one on their website. But let's talk about the actual watch. The Arne RA03 is a military inspired watch. I could say that it is more a copy watch than a military inspired one as it mostly replicates the aesthetics and design of the Benrus Mil W3818B, a mil spec watch that troops received during the Vietnam War as part of their equipment. Mil W3818B refers to a specification set by the US military in the 1960s for their issued wristwatches. These watches needed to meet specific requirements for durability, functionality and accuracy. In terms of durability, these watches were built to withstand tough conditions faced by military personnel. They needed to have features like a 12-hour and 24-hour dial, a luminous dial and hands for easy reading in low light, a sweep seconds hand, the ability to stop the seconds hand and a fabric strap. Also, they were required to have a minimum accuracy of 30 seconds per day, quite a lot of features for a watch that was designed and manufactured on a large scale in 1965. And of course, the Ardney RA03 doesn't precisely meet all those conditions to be a true mil-spec watch and a copy in this aspect. But at first sight, it could trick you into thinking that it is the original military field watch until you see the ticking seconds hand that reveals the quartz heart beneath the dial. One of the things you'll notice about the RA03 is its size. A 34.5 mm, it's a true vintage inspired field watch. This size might feel small compared to modern watches, but it perfectly captures the classic military aesthetic and sits comfortably on most wrists. The case is made from sandblasted 316L stainless steel, which gives it a rugged utilitarian look. Sandblasting also helps hide minor scratches, a plus for a watch meant for everyday wear. Moreover, the case feels well made and solid, quite exceeding expectations for a watch at this price point. I forgot to mention, but the watch on their website costs only 60 US dollars. The crystal is a mineral domed crystal that has a nice image distortion. It doesn't distort the image too much, but it is there for you to notice that dome. As a personal opinion, I would have preferred an acrylic crystal, just like the original version, as it is more resistant to shattering, but I'm happy with the mineral one too. The mineral crystal, surely, after some time, it will catch some scratches as it is exposed outside the case. But those scratches will give this watch a different personality, unlike other watch styles where some scratches would look quite bad. I consider that a field watch like this has to show the battle scars of everyday wear and tear. And the dial is where the RA03 truly shines. It's a clean, legible design that prioritizes functionality over flash. The black matte dial features clear white Arabic numerals and simple hour and minute syringe hands. 
All the essentials for quick time reading are present here, just like the original military specification demanded. The RA03 uses a modern luminescent material that glows brightly in low light conditions, unlike the potentially dangerous tritium used in vintage military watches. While not everyone needs night vision level loom, it's a practical feature for quick time checks in the dark. Though the loom on this one doesn't last as long as you might expect. It is there to remind you that the team that designed the RA03 thought about those moments when you get to have a quick change in light conditions and at the same moment you need to check the time. Those moments should never be more than 20 minutes of darkness, as the loom is not that strong unfortunately. Though I was surprised by the second hand, that is a loomed hand entirely, giving it a nice visual aspect in those moments of darkness that I mentioned before. The RA03 utilizes a reliable Mayra 2035 quartz movement, which is a popular choice for affordable watches known for its accuracy and longevity. Quartz movements require minimal maintenance compared to mechanical ones, making them ideal for a grab-and-go field watch. And for 60 US dollars, a poorly made mechanical movement would have been a bad choice, making the watch unreliable for sure, and on the other side, a good mechanical movement would have raised the price much more than 60 US dollars, which in this case you could choose the Hamilton mechanical. The stock strap is a comfortable nylon strap, reminiscent of the fabric straps used on military issued watches. Nylon is a great choice for a field watch as it's durable, breathable and dries quickly. Luckily the 18mm lug width of this case allows for easy strap changes to personalize the watch. Additionally, the case features drill lugs for easier strap change in case you opt for a classic leather strap. There are plenty of 18mm straps options out there and I'm glad that they chose a size like this and not an odd one like 19mm. And I appreciate the fact that the manufacturer thought about a small detail that you only see in more expensive watches. The buckle has the same finish as the case. Quite a nice touch to consider for a pretentious watch enthusiast like me. The water resistance is only 50 meters, making it suitable for occasional water splashes, but not even the $5,000 field watch from Hamilton has more. So I don't have any problem if my $60 watch has the same 50 meters water resistance. So I strapped it on my wrist and at first I could barely feel that I was wearing the watch. It feels light but at the same time robust. For the size like this and a quartz movement, all packed and strapped on a nylon strap, I think I have no right to complain about the weight of the overall watch. Surely it doesn't feel cheap, but with many occasions it doesn't feel to be there at all. But apart from the way that it feels on my wrist, I sometimes raise my hand to check the time, just to admire the watch in the first place. There is no doubt about the fact that it is a looker. The sandblasted case feels like a high grit sandpaper, a detail that gives the watch a quality feel despite its weight and a domed crystal like this completes the vintage aesthetic perfectly. It offers a slight magnification effect when looking directly at the watch face. Overall, the Ardne RA03 punches well above its weight in terms of quality and value. It's a fantastic option for anyone looking for a non-nonsense vintage-inspired fill watch that can be worn daily without the fear of breaking a real historical timepiece. It is a great alternative for those ones that want the look of a Millspec watch, but for less money, at the same time keeping the true feel and size of an original one. But there is still one thing that gives me second thoughts here. I am glad that the watch exists, but at the same time the resemblance with the original is too close and deep down in my mind I consider it a copy. But I don't know, maybe if they somehow made it visible that it's a Rodney watch, it might have been a good idea to avoid this copy resemblance. If you have other opinion about it, write your thoughts in the comment section below. My name is Ed and you watched another episode from Breeze Saga. Also don't forget to like this video and if you want more honest reviews like this, click the subscribe button. Until next time, 